The History of the Ballot Initiative by BISC. 100 years ago, the Southern Pacific Railroad ran California. It was so powerful that the legislature passed anything it wanted. Well, that made progressives pretty angry. One of them was Hiram Johnson, so he ran for governor promising to fight the railroad and won. Johnson and progressives wanted to give the people a check on corporate political power, so they introduced the ballot initiative, and with the help of the people, the poll tax abolished. The university system, funded, and corporate power finally kept in check. The ballot initiative started with progressive roots and became law in almost half our states. But then, fast forward to 1978, we go back to California. Corporations and radical conservatives have learned how to hijack the ballot. Their first big success, passing Proposition 13, squeezing the state to its limits, making it harder to fund schools, police, firefighters, you name it. After that, it's just one bad ballot measure after another. They made it almost impossible to fund schools in Colorado and banned marriage equality in more than 20 states within four years. And progressives, after spending nearly a billion dollars in four cycles to fight these bad ballot measures, we're still losing more than we're winning. That's where the Ballot Initiative Strategy Center comes in. At BISC, we're building a national strategy to help progressives take back the initiative. With better research, infrastructure, and tools, we can win more and spend less. Just think, in the next 10 years, we can use ballot initiatives as a civic engagement and political tool for victory again. Help us take back the initiative from corporations and radical conservatives and return ballot measures to their progressive roots. BISC, the Ballot Initiative Strategy Center.